saw, and I have recently built this uh, Volks um, Rodan hatchling. And my friend Charles gave this to me when I bought a couple kits from him. And I used uh, a small soldier I got from another friend, Matt. Uh, actually, he gave me a bunch of soldiers. And I changed it to look more like the guy in the movie scene. Got rid of the helmet and the helmet strap and all the gear he was carrying and the gun. And uh, made a little diorama. I didn't make any mega neurons, at least not yet, because I couldn't figure out a way that I could make such a small mega neuron look very well, uh, sculpting it myself. And um, I think this kit did come with mega neurons, or at least one or something. Uh, at one time, this one didn't have the, the eggshell or anything, but uh, just had um, had Rodan himself. But uh, they didn't look very good in the pictures I saw, so I'm not too sad about not having it. But anyway, I really am glad to get this kit. It's a really cute uh, hatchling, and I, I put a little more color in it than in the reference pictures I saw. It still made him kind of reddish. I wanted to give him a little bit more color on his beak and, and such. Um, I tried to make the base about the color that it would look like in the movie and same with the color of the shell with a, kind of a uh, tan and uh, with brown spots. The hatchling has pretty good detail and was pretty clean uh, cast for a um, an older kit, which I think it came out in the 80s, and it was pretty limited. But it has a little bit of detail. It's got little tiny teeth. It's got a tongue. And uh, it was, uh, like I say, fairly clean cast for an older kit. Which a lot of times they're pretty bad and don't have hardly any detail. And uh, kits from uh, Volks uh, back in that time, a lot of times you had to make your own teeth and things. Um, but this this was good, and uh, and everything was uh, I just had a little bit of cleanup to do. I made the egg. Uh, I took a capsule uh, toy container, and I painted the inside of it with Durham's water putty and let it dry. And I put it in the freezer, and then I microwaved some water and stuck um, it in the water to kind of try to expand it while having the Durham's cold. That still didn't work, but I tapped it with a hammer and it did break, came out in pieces big enough. I thought I could use it like this. I kind of wanted the, the thing to stay more intact than it did, uh, but it's all right. And I just added some extra pieces and things at the bottom. So anyway, that is your Volks Rodan Hatchling, which is a pretty scary scene in the movie. At least it was for the guy who had a nervous breakdown over it. And he looks pretty scared right now, don't he? Behold Rodan. Oh, Till next time, bye.